Welcome to another episode of Film Fanatics. I'm Bruce Bennett, film critic with madaboutmovies.org. And I'm Adam Mass with Cinemass.net. Bruce, we got a jam-packed show today. We got Two a couple movies. movies to talk about. Yes. What shall we open it up with? We're going to talk about an animated movie based on an app. Bruce. Yes, Angry Birds. I'm angry. Let's well, just, let's start it off there. I figured out why the birds are angry, too. <laughs> Yeah. That's because they should have made this movie five years ago. But nonetheless. Yes, exactly. But nonetheless, let's talk about it. Angry Birds, I thought it was, I think the best feature of Angry Birds, Adam, is that it's original. It's one of the first films that we've watched of kids films, not based on a book that everybody knows about. It's based not off based a based game, on as you just said, yeah, that's five years old. It's still old. original. It's I mean, so the dated. story has uh, only very little to do with the app, although I think they incorporate some of the characteristics of the Angry Birds, right. and for those not familiar, it's a well, fun little app game where Angry Birds explode I all fully over the place. recognize that I am not the target demographic for this sure. movie, but would it have hurt the filmmakers to reach beyond that target no. demographic and give us a little something extra? I found this movie tedious and obnoxious, and I didn't, didn't uh, care for I it. I brought a child, as I always do, when I bring a kid's movie, just to see how, and they have, I. My they kids like were it, with it. They laughed. Yeah. They laughed quite a bit. The humor is kind of funny. There is some extended urinating scenes in oh it. Oh my the gosh! The I don't know. Th extend, it's it's <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the story. I know the plot doesn't yeah. really matter. It'll take you where two these seconds. things go. Yeah, it's basically about this bird named Red. He's a flightless bird. He lives on this island with all these other flightless birds, and he's got major anger issues. Yes. So they force him into taking an anger management course. Right. And of course, Red doesn't take the anger management course seriously at all because his anger issues are deep rooted. He's yes. got a, a really crappy past that stems from a really crappy childhood. Right. That basically sums it up. And then the um, pigs show up. The green piggies, which we'll get to in a moment. I, I don't even I don't even know where to okay, begin. Okay, but so the anyway. film the film wasn't boring. Right? Um, I found it very tedious, tedious? and boring. Okay. I, I did. And and I thought a lot of the jokes, look, I'm no prude. I love raunchy humor, but not in a kid's movie. And Red, yeah. there's a moment where Red says, pluck my life. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, come on. This is right. a PG-rated kid's movie. Right. Yeah, I say skip this movie. In fact, I give it the bird, quite frankly. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't like it at all. What all do you right. think? Uh, I say stream it. I think some parents will like it, some kids will like it. but. Moving consider on. The, <laughs> consider the cautions. Yeah, right. for sure. Moving right. on, let's talk about The Nice Guys, right. which is the latest from Shane Black, and I have a pure, unadulterated love for Shane Black. This is the man that wrote Lethal Weapon the 80s, a screenplay that caused bidding wars right. all over Hollywood. And we both um, like Kiss Kiss Bang Kiss, Bang. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is phenomenal. And then he he, he uh, followed that up with Iron Man 3, Probably which he struck bo yeah. box office gold, which right. is a very polarizing movie. Right. Um, the Nice Guys, I'll give The Nice Guys this. You just mentioned Angry Birds is original. I feel the same way about The Nice Guys. Really? And yet another summer full of sequels, reboots, and comic book adaptations yeah. at the very least. Except that it's so derivative. Come well, on. Well, it, it, it is derivative. It's a noir-tinged uh, 70s Hollywood right. set noir action buddy comedy. Kind of a, trying to be a Elmer. El Elmore Leonard kind of a yeah it's got detective. it's got a bit of that vibe it's a it's a full on off the wall bonkers comedy of errors too it's it's a it's right. a it's a story in which the two characters they're trying to reach a goal and they reach that goal but not they don't get their w there the right. way they expect to get there um, it's a very it's a very gritty it's a very R rated movie and I'm sure there right. are plenty of things in it that offended you given our talk about the boss. No, you hit the nail on the head. I, I know it's where you're going. It's one thing to make a film about the porno, porno industry. Right. It's another to cast children in a film and then have them saying raunchy dialogue. Right. It, that is well, so Well, this is a this, to this me. is kind of Shane Black's MO. He really wanted to make an adult movie and I know that's for you that's probably no excuse. Make an adult movie. That, you know that, I'm no prude, that, Adam. That, make an adult movie, that, but don't cast kids in it and well, have that, them say there's one particular scene with a little right. middle school child is who, looking at who asks, you know, right. we can't even talk about it, that's how profane it is. Yeah, the movie is. is not about the best of parenting, we could put it that way. But, but this is no laughing matter, this it, is deplorable, Adam. Filmmakers have a responsibility, and I are the parents well, of I, these I, kids? I disagree with that. I don't. What think, are you talking about? I don't think filmmakers have a responsibility. You have a responsibility as a parent to keep your kid from watching the movie. So, I don't, so I don't we can put kids in porn, pornography, no, pornographic no, 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 movies? No, that's completely different. What? That, we're that's, we're that's, not that's, that's, that far that's, away here. Well, that's illegal. Given I think their that's, language. There's a big line there. I don't I don't, I don't think know. it's big in this film. Okay, well, I... It's I, about the... 
porn pornographic it, it, industry. It, it is that that is true, but I don't. I think this movie has bigger problems because it's than, a bigger budget. Because it's funny. No, I'm just saying. I think the movie has bigger. Because problems. it has bigger stars. Lack lack of consistency was my big problem with this movie. I just think this is a deplorable trend. I don't want to see kids in material and spouting material that well, shit is again, only this is, left th this for is, adults. This has been going on for years and years and okay, years. Okay, well, years. I don't have to accept I it. Mean, I hate it. Did you like The Exorcist? I mean, it has a girl doing some pretty awful stuff, too. Yeah, and that's and special effects. it's a classic effects. motion picture. Yes, and I, I know that. But, but, but because you're seeing this, well, when a child there, utters bad language, obviously they're doing it yes, for real. Yes, yes. They are, they are things having are manipulated. kids say it things is, that are it, adult. Right, that's true. But there are other things in this movie. It's all about manipulation. It's about editing. Right. I get that it makes you uncomfortable. Well, Having just said me, that, I, I think parents will be. I, I think anybody. That, I, I hope no parents take semblance. their kids to see this movie. Let's let's leave it at that. But it's okay for kids to be in the movie. Well, I mean, I'm sure she was paid handsomely. <laughs> I All mean, right, I'm, I'm I'm I think I liked Nice Guys a little bit more than you did. My expectations got the better of me. I was very excited for this movie, as you very yeah. well know. I would say hold off for DVD. It is somewhat. It has moments, but it is somewhat disappointing. And I say skip it. Wow. And I say skip Angry Birds. Oh, I'm horrible. Well, this has been another glorious edition of Film Fanatics. Until next time, everyone, I'm Adam Mast with Cinemast.net. And I'm Bruce Bennett with madaboutmovies.org. And we're Film Fanatics. Are you? So yeah, man, I would banter. much rather watch The Nice Guys than Angry Birds. Yeah. For me, personally. And I would rather tolerate The Angry Birds wow. than Nice Guys. Now, having said that, I, I definitely was somewhat disappointed by The Nice Guys. Yeah. But I thought Gosling and Crow. Were great. I thought their banter was a lot of fun.